So you're in the top 50, but you need a few extra points to place top 10 or even first. One more game left and a heap of points you need to earn. End game just simply isn't going to cut it. Even if you get all the placement points, you still need some of those well-earned eliminations to drive your points up and earn you a few extra hundreds of dollars. This is where you need to W key. All right, so W King is a strategy used by many pro players across multiple platforms to throw off opponents and eliminate them with ease. Oftentimes in events and tournaments, players will play safe and go for the end game, not suspecting to be pushed. This is where the W key strategy works like a charm. Playing aggressively with perfect technique and tactics will rack up points with ease. All right, so for our question of the day, we got to ask this question. Which players do you guys think are better at W King, EU or NA players? Personally, I think you guys are monsters at it, but let us know in the comments down below. Now, before we dive in, if you want to learn how to play exactly like these pro players, you guys got to check out ProGuys.com, where we have the best coaches in the world. All right, so sign up for our membership today and get exclusive access to master courses by players like Benji and Mongru. If you want to go more in depth and explore all the different aspects of competitive gameplay, that you need to know in order to succeed, you guys got to head over to ProGuide's website and be sure to sign up and start improving rapidly today. What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guide. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm back. I want to tell you, you got to keep grinding. Even if you're not seeing the improvement that you want to see, not only in this game, but also in anything in your life, practice makes perfect. Just because you're not getting the results doesn't mean you give up. If you go to the gym one week and you haven't gotten any muscle or if you haven't lost weight, that doesn't mean you quit. That means you keep going. That means you grind harder. I want you guys to grind harder because that's what it's all about in this life. Connect with me at my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. All right, guys, it's time to sit back, relax, and get my favorite candy. You already know what time it is. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. Perhaps the most important aspect of an aggressive W key play style is the mindset. Everybody say mindset. If you don't have the mindset, it's going to be very hard to keep pressure on your opponents and take them out with ease. So let's get into it and just see how you guys can optimize your mindset and set it to where it'll carry your aggressiveness. Once your mindset is tuned, your W King is going to improve over time. First, you want to make sure that you're confident. Super important. Playing aggressively requires a heap of confidence as you can't hesitate. You need to trust in your ability to overtake your opponent with ease. Even if you feel as though you may not be able to do it, you need to full send every W key with full confidence and lots of intelligent thinking. Confidence is key, but let's get into the intelligent thinking. Starting with the first aspect of W King, the decision making process. When you W key, it's true that you're pushing people constantly and consistently, but you need to do so intelligently. Being able to make good decisions that put you in the correct positions are key to W King effectively. So how do you do it? Good question. Decision making is a three step process. First, you must analyze the area. Take a look at your surroundings and look for anything that could impact your potential push. Taking your opponent's position, the objects around them and any natural areas of high ground that you could use to take advantage. Also, keep in mind any parts of the area that other players could show up from or get an angle. Step one, you always want to be ready for third parties when playing in competitive events. You know, many players will roam around looking for fights to third party. This is why it's really important that you finish off your opponent as fast as possible, leading to less complications. You know, delaying an attack can cause third partying and even two opponents targeting you instead of each other. Step two consists of devising a route of attack. You now know the area and are aware of potential third parties, but you need to create a plan of action for how you're going to take out your opponent. By planning it out, You'll effectively decrease the time it'll take to eliminate your opponent as you'll be more organized and ready. Start out by thinking of all the ways you can use the natural landscape around you to create natural cover. If you're pushing someone that is in a bad spot that's located on the low ground, for example, you wouldn't want to just run down there and just start box fighting. You want to use weapons and utilities you have to deal damage and catch them off guard. For example, you could shoot their wall and make it one shot and then shoot a rocket directly at the wall. Then once the rocket is about to hit it, take one more shot and break their wall, allowing the rocket to slip through and deal damage. This is one example of an intelligent maneuver you can use to push people that are in a bad location. Other ways you can devise routes is by distancing yourself and then pushing an opponent from behind very sneakily. This is something Unknown tends to do a lot. He'll wait for the right time to push and then sneak up on his opponents using the crouch feature, which silences his footsteps. This is the thought-out attack strategy that gives him the jump on opponents when he's pushing them. 
Step three is focus on taking out your opponent during the assault. You know, while you're pushing them, you want to be predicting their moves. This isn't an easy thing to do, and it's definitely going to take practice, your favorite word. The way you predict opponents is by paying close attention to the way they're looking and what they're doing. For example, they could be looking up while having their builds out. This means that you're probably going to edit out of their box and attempt to ramp out and up. Or they could be looking directly at you with their weapon out, which could mean they're about to edit or are waiting for you to try to break their wall. You know, there are so many different things that people do that can show you what their next move is going to be. You know, the faster that you can predict them, the faster you're going to be able to eliminate them. I like that. The reason predicting works really, really well is because you're going to be using your predictions to make moves that will throw off your opponents. If they're ramping out, for example, you could place a pyramid on top of the direction they're going to ramp. This is going to block their ramp, confusing them and giving you an open shot, plus control over the area. It's also highly important to always play box fights and be up to date with all the recent moves. How can you possibly anticipate an enemy's move if you don't know what he has up his sleeve? Sure, a player like Mongrel Benji might have one or two tricks you haven't seen. But generally, if you're somebody who practices and watches pro streamers, you should have a good idea of all the techniques to expect. Let's take a look at Mongrel W King so we can show you guys what I mean. Mongrel, as we all know, is probably one of the best examples to showcase this aggressive W key style at its finest. So let's take a look. Okay, so right here, and I mean right here, we can see that Mongrel is pushing up on a finished fight to W key and eliminate the winner of the battle. Mongrel goes to break a floor and he replaces it with his own. As soon as he does so, he quickly edits it and takes a shot at the opponent. So I want you to notice how quickly he re-edits the floor to avoid taking damage back. This is something most people would do, but here's a pro trick that involves predicting. Mongo quickly switches to build mode after he resets the edit and he holds the floor. This is him predicting that the opponent will try to shoot back. If they do, it's going to break down the floor and Mongrel will have already replaced it. As soon as he realizes that the opponent isn't going to shoot back, he edits the floor once again. But this time, he does not actually shoot. He steps back and he waits for a second, predicting that his opponent is going to take a shot and this is exactly what happens. Once the opponent takes their shot, they have to wait for their shot delay to wear off and Mongrel uses this period of time to get a free shot off and finish off his opponent. In this short period of about three seconds, Mongrel makes two extremely well thought predictions that, you know, would make it much harder for his opponent to win, mainly because of how he messes up the opponent by having counterplays to the moves he's predicting. This is step three, my friends, and the most important part of your mindset, predicting and executing based on your predictions. Another very important part of W King is box fighting. Everybody say box fighting, come on. Without a good box fighting skill, we can basically guarantee that you guys are not going to be able to do well against any high tier opponent during an event. This is because almost every player boxes up and uses box fighting techniques during events and tournaments. Box fighting is like the safest way of fighting as it protects from third parties while also giving control over the area around you. All right, so let's get into some box fighting tips and tricks to sharpen your skills. Here, and I mean right here, we can see Benji Fish pushing an opponent and W King hard. The first thing he does is shoot his opponent's ramp while ramping up himself. This gives him the high ground as he closes the distance. Once he arrives to his opponent, he quickly drops down and he starts applying pressure while also spamming pyramids in the general area. This gives Benji control of that layer, making it slightly harder for his opponent to box out or ramp up. Then Benji quickly turns around and predicts his opponents will move out to the side. He does so correctly and he takes his shot, but he misses. Now pay close attention to what he does next. As soon as Benji takes the shot, he places a floor, blocking off his opponent and giving him control. He then quickly edits through the floor and places a wall on the other side. He does this because he predicts his opponent is going to try to escape through that side. Smart. Sure enough, that's exactly what he tries to do. Wow. Giving Benji an easy shot. Benji then quickly jumps up and he resets the floor because he knows that his opponent is going to turn around and try to damage Benji back. But Benji moves across the box and then edits the wall that he placed before, leaving the opponent confused and Benji with a free kill that he took zero damage from. Bravo, bravo. Alright, so let's recap and take a look at the box fighting tricks he used, alright? In this W key by Benji, the first thing we see is that he takes control of his opponent's box and the surrounding area by placing pyramids and then takes a second to predict his opponent. 
Once the opponent moves into an area that hasn't already been built on, Benji quickly starts taking control by placing walls and floors. This is a trick many pros use to help them and end box fights quickly. You know, a lot of times, guys, when you take a wall on the side or behind an opponent, they're not going to notice until they try to edit it. And this is what Benji does that gives him the advantage in this fight. Next, he also utilized advanced editing maneuvers such as the top-off edit on walls. This edit gives him the best angle on his opponent while also making it harder for the opponent to shoot back. You know, when you're getting shot from the angle that Benji is shooting from, you have a much harder time shooting back because a majority of Benji's character is protected by the rest of the wall. In order to learn all of these nifty tricks, guys, and advanced techniques, we suggest that you stay updated with all the updates by watching our most recent box fighting video. This is going to give you guys everything you need to learn in order to dominate opponents during box fights. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to never give up. Make sure to never surrender. Keep grinding, guys. The sky is not the limit. I know in this game it is, but it's not the limit in life. So keep going. Connect with me on my new Insta. I would love to hear from you at Your Motivation Guy. We hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys thought and what you'd like to see next. We strive to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking this video. Subscribe to the channel and show ProGuys.com some love by using code ProGuys in the item shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.